Do you have one there? Can you show us how it works? We've been talking about it for a while and I feel like Absolutely. the magic is like when you actually see it. We're redesigning the box, but that's the current box you see in the back and you see it right here. Um, it comes uh, eight in a box and then it's unpacked like this. And you open it up and it has an applicator and it has the devices and the, the nurse can just dump that on the surgical field it's sterile and this is our first model it's the bp 75 the one we have the most experience and now we have our second model the b i mean the bp 100 the bp 75 which is smaller and the ends are tapered to go around areas like the rela or like in foot and ankle surgery when you're in tighter curves or more curved surfaces so these are on their loading tray. This is, by the way, recyclable. That was one of our values we wanted to do. The applicator, this, and the tray are all uh, marked with their little recycling logo, which makes me feel good. And then uh, it has this applicator, and the applicator has these little pins. And what you do is you slide it in, it clicks, you roll it off, and then this is special part of the innovation is these little flaps in the peel liner here that allow that to come up, they create a micro air bubble that then releases it from the plastic. Otherwise you couldn't lift the thing off at all. And then to apply, think of it like loading it. You, you squeeze and now it's ready to go. And what you do is you would put it, and I'll use my hand as an example if I can. So you can say how I think. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna relax, and now I'm gonna release it. And you can see, I don't know if you can see now, it's, it's on my hand. Let me do another one. I can put an area. It might be a little bit easier to see here. So again, I'm going to click, roll. Let me go where it's a little, little fleshier. Maybe I can get a, here we go. So I'm going to squeeze, press, let go. And as it does, it'll pull that in. I'll get out of the shadow in a second. And now it's on. So if you look at it now, I think you might be able to see that the, the tension is off. You can see it averted and lifted up in the middle and that's it. It doesn't hurt. If I do it this way, you can see it in the pressure. I can move. It moves with me. I can take a shower and so forth. So this can be used to close wounds. It can be used to support the scar. How long does it stay on? Does it fall off by itself? It does. So um, you don't have to have it removed like sutures or staples or something like that. Um, Typically, it's going to stay on a minimum of 10 days. Uh, usually, it's more like two to three weeks. It depends on the area. It's an area with a lot of movement. It's toward the lower end of that. On the breast, we've had some people say it lasted longer than a month in certain situations. As long as it's well heared, it's taking that tension off the skin. It's going to help create a healthy environment for wound healing and, and should help the scar improve. If the Patients, Bridget's fall off too early. Can they put them back on themselves or yeah. do they have, they can? They can. Uh, we haven't really been seeing that if the surgeon prepares the site right to get it to stick. One of the big learnings was, is that you would want to use alcohol pad to decrease. So it's just a standard alcohol pad we would use in surgery and we would just go on either side. And just basically you're exfoliating a little bit, you're rubbing off the oils. And when you do that, you it usually sticks really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and then, you know, you look at it, it's on one hand, it's so super simple, right? I had people say, what'd you do? Did you do that in your basement in a weekend? And I said, no, it took many millions of dollars, more than a decade, a bunch of engineers, you know, to get it to the point that you can manufacture it and you work out the kinks and it works over and over and you get the right adhesive. It, so there are no allergic reactions. And so it doesn't cause blisters or irritations, things. There's, there's 10,000 things to work out, you know, but when you look at it and you go, okay, it just rotates open, rotates back. These little struts are really important because they create this axis, this dual axis of rotation that when you let go, it's going to pull things together and push that tension reduction beneath the surface. And 
that's probably why we're seeing those decrease in wounds. It's taking the tension off, not just on the skin, but underneath as well. Really remarkable. And I think the magic is the simplicity, you know, Mm -hmm. that there just are no barriers to using it, understanding it, talking about it, remembering it. I think there just is so many good things about how much you 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 put into it. On one hand, it's so super simple, right? Yeah. I had people say, what'd you do? Did you do that in your basement in a weekend? And I said, no, it took many millions of dollars, more than a decade, a bunch of engineers, you know, to get it to the point that you can manufacture it and you work out the kinks and it works over and over and you get the right adhesive. It, so there are no allergic reactions. And so it doesn't cause blisters or irritations, things. There's, there's 10,000 things to work out, you know. But when you look at it and you go, Okay, it just rotates open, rotates back. These little struts are really important because they create this axis, this dual axis of rotation that when you let go, it's going to pull things together and push that tension reduction beneath the surface. And that's probably why we're seeing those decrease in wounds. It's taking the tension off, not just on the skin, but underneath as well.